Hello everybody, today I'm going to be comparing 8 pucks on hockey tiles, on a smooth like roller hockey surface, and on concrete. So I'm going to be testing them for stick handling ability, uh, shooting, and I'm also going to help tell you how much each one costs. So hopefully we can uh, figure out which pucks are the best to buy and which ones you shouldn't buy, and then why. So. Okay, so the first puck we're going to be looking at is your standard 6 ounce rubber hockey puck. Next is a normal roller hockey puck. So this is a Myrick one. Uh, the next is the original Green Biscuit, you probably all know and love. After that is the Green Biscuit Snipe, which you can shoot. After that is the uh, Green Biscuit Roller Hockey Puck. Next is uh, Orange Light PE Puck. Coming up next is a pink smart hockey puck. And last week we have the hockey shot two dangler 2.0 puck. Okay, so next we have stick handling. And the six ounce puck is pretty bad. It rolls a lot and it just won't slide well. So it's almost like the worst thing that you can have for this uh, concrete, smooth concrete surface. Next is a roller hockey puck which slides pretty well. It doesn't roll too much, but it still is a little light, so it's kind of hard to feel on your blade. And uh, it's decent, but not like the most optimal choice, as you can see here. My hands are okay with it, and mostly that's just my bad stick handling. So next is the Green Biscuit. I mean, obviously, m most of you probably have this puck, but if you don't know, it's like pretty much the best thing that you can have for uh, this surface like smooth concrete and as you can hopefully you can see it slides very very well next is the green biscuit snipe and it slides almost as well as the green biscuit it doesn't roll it doesn't roll over like the green biscuit it just is a little bit tackier because the the material it's made out of is a little bit different so it doesn't slide quite as well the next is the uh, green biscuit roller hockey puck and it's decent. It's a lot like the regular roller hockey puck. I don't think it seems to be almost the exact same. I think most of the, the uh, fumbling is my stick rolling, but it seems to roll on your blade a little bit less than the regular one. Next is the P orange PE puck, and it, it slides very nicely, and it doesn't really roll too much. It's just so light, though, that it's not really going to help you that much. And second to last we have the smart hockey puck it's it's good it doesn't really roll over on you it just doesn't really slide well on the surface but it's a decent option because it has a lot of weight to it and last is the hockey shot dangler 2.0 puck which slides very well and you know honestly it doesn't really flip over that much most of it's my bad stick in wing but you're not really supposed to use it so i wouldn't really recommend it for the surface that much Okay, next we have the slide test, and your regular 6 ounce hockey puck doesn't slide too well. As you saw in the last one, it doesn't really slide well on the surface. Next to the roller hockey puck, which slides decently well, a bit further than the regular hockey puck. Green Biscuit goes next, and it slides much, much farther than both of the two. Very good for the surface. The Green Biscuit Snipe, not quite as far, but still pretty good for its weight. It slides pretty far. The Green Biscuit Roller Hockey Puck slides pretty much the same as the other Roller Hockey Puck. They're pretty much almost the same. And the PE Orange Hockey Puck slides pretty far. It's a good, it slides well. The Smart Hockey Puck, it slides a little bit a little bit farther than the Roller Hockey Pucks. And then last, the Dangler 2.0 Puck, it should slide farther than all the rest. Next we have the Smooth Roller Hockey Bike Surface. And the 6 ounce puck doesn't slide too bad on this. Still fumbles a bit, and it's not, it's definitely not optimal for the surface, but it's much better than the smooth concrete. The roller hockey puck slides pretty well. It, it rolls on your stick just a tiny bit, but it's a pretty good surface. I mean, it's what it slides like how it's, it's, it's made for this surface, so it slides pretty well on it. The green biscuit just slides much better. It, it's pretty much the best sliding puck, as you'll probably tell, but uh, pretty much no problems from this puck. It's the best out there. 
Green Biscuit Snipe, almost as good. Just still a little bit tackier, so it doesn't slide quite as well, but no flip overs or anything like that. Still a very good option for this surface. Next is the Green Biscuit Roy Hockey Puck. Pretty much the exact same as the other puck. It doesn't seem to roll as much, but uh, pretty much the same as the other one. Next we have the PE Puck, which slides phenomenal on this surface. And that's it's like it's like a kind of like the PE floors, but it's like again it's so light that it's not very good. I, I don't like it at all. This the smart hockey puck actually slides pretty much. I think this is where it slides the best compared to the other pucks. And it's very good. It does not flip over, and it has really heavy, so one of the best options. And we have the hockey shot 2.0 dangler puck, and it's it's obviously slides the best. But it's also very expensive, so I, I don't really recommend using it unless you have to. Next, for the slide test on the surface, we have the regular 6 ounce puck first. Obviously, not the greatest. It's going to be the worst in pretty much all the slide tests. The 6 ounce puck should go farther than it. I just did not hit it hard enough, so I apologize for that. The green biscuit goes a bit further, like normal. The green biscuit snipe, surprisingly, just goes about just as far, actually, a little bit farther. The, uh, as you'll see, the Green Biscuit Snipe goes farther, so like the real hockey puck should be around where that is. Uh, the PE puck actually slides pretty well. Very good for this surface. And the Smart Hockey puck slides pretty much the best, which is very, very good for how much it weighs. And But the best is the Dangler 2.0 puck, which is just obliterates all of them. Last, we have the stick handling on the tiles and the... The rubber puck's actually okay on these. It still fumbles a little bit when you go really fast with it. And, I mean, it'll work, but it, it's just not the greatest. Like, you wouldn't really want to do too many drills. The uh, roller hockey puck, it's pretty good. It's the best on this surface, every puck is, but it, it doesn't really roll off your stick like it does on the other ones. And it, it's just good on that surface. The green biscuit has absolutely no problems. It's almost like ice. It's pretty much the best that you're going to get without actually being on ice. The Green Biscuit Snipe is pretty much the same. Uh, excuse the fumbles, that's my fault. And But it's almost the same, just a little bit tackier, like I said. Not as good of a slide. The, the Green Biscuit Roller Hockey Puck slides just as well as the uh, other Roller Hockey Puck. But I think it fumbled once for me. And so the PE puck, it's very good. It's really lightweight though, and it's smaller than normal. So I don't like stick handling with it, like I've said before, but it slides very well. Um, the smart hockey puck, it's very good. It doesn't fumble or anything. It slides decently well. It's like a regular puck, just doesn't fall over. And then last is the uh, Dangler 2.0 puck, and I really recommend it on this surface. It actually might slide better than ice, I think. Okay, last we have the shooting test. Sorry for no uh, slide test on the tiles. We got the puck first, which works well for shooting. You know, it's the best thing to shoot with. Next is the roller hockey puck. It's a bit light, but it still works for shooting. You'll get some decent accuracy using it. Uh, next is the green biscuit snipe, which is about the same thing as a real puck. A little bit not the same dimension, so just a little bit worse than a real puck. The roller hockey green biscuit is like the other roller hockey puck, not the greatest. The PE puck is terrible for shooting. It has no no weight to it, no grip, so don't recommend that one at all. And the smart hockey puck one is pretty much just like a puck. It's the grip is a little bit more plasticky, but no complaints from this one. I think green biscuit and uh, dangle 2.0 puck, you can't shoot. Okay, so based on the results from my test, I'm going to try and figure out which is the best puck for you, the viewer, to buy. So first, I have the standard 6-ounce puck. This puck is about a buck fifty on Pure Hockey, with, and I'm, uh, most of the prices are going to be from Pure Hockey, and this is U.S. currency, as you can probably see there. Um, so this puck, this puck's good for shooting. It's pretty cheap, and it's what you're going to be shooting in a real game or in practice. So if you're going to be shooting pucks and you have like a, at least a 
at least a roller hockey type surface, then I'd probably consider buying a few of these. That's only if you're going to sh shoot with them. If you're not, then just don't buy any of these at all. The roller hockey puck. Uh, this one's pretty good. It works on pretty much every surface. It slides very well. It doesn't roll too much. The only problem is that it's a little light and that it doesn't shoot super well. It's not as grippy as like a normal puck. So definitely buy it if you play roller hockey. But I would sort of recommend it if you don't play roller hockey. And I think there's better options. But it's still a decent puck, especially if you're going to be playing on like outdoors surfaces that aren't the road. Next is the Green Biscuit. I definitely recommend this puck. This is the best stick handling puck out there for all for all services. So I think anyone should get one of these, regardless of like what kind of like what kind of surface you, you have available to you. This is just like a must need puck, just because it's so good at, at stick handling. Next is a Green Biscuit Snipe, and I have a few of these pucks. They're pretty good. And I'd say if you don't have any pucks and you're only looking to buy like a few, this is definitely one to buy. I would say it's the best overall just because you can also shoot it and it's not that much worse than the regular green biscuit. And so I would sort of recommend it if you have a few pucks and a green biscuit. But if you don't have any pucks, this is definitely one to get. Green biscuit roller hockey puck. And sorry for the picture here, but uh, this puck... It's just three dollars more than the other roller hockey pucks, and it, I just don't see any reason, like differences that make it that much worth it, more worth it to get. It's not really better in any way than the other roller hockey pucks. Now, the other ones do break after a while, and I haven't had this one for long enough to see if it breaks. So maybe it's better in that way. But otherwise, I'd rather, I'd re you probably would rather go with the other puck, uh, the roller hockey puck. Next is the PE Orange Puck. Uh, this is just like a light rubber puck. Uh, maybe if you're playing around with friends, it's worth it. But otherwise, it's just too light. Even though it slides well, it's just a terrible puck. And it's more than a regular ice hockey puck, so I just do not recommend this puck at all. Next is the Smart Hockey Puck. This is decent. I've tried a lot with this. This thing will not break. The, the Green Biscuit Snipe sort of dense after a little while after like hard use and uh, very hard shots into the posts this thing does not um, and it as you probably saw in the earlier videos it slides very well on like the roller hockey type surfaces so if you have one of those and you need a puck then this might be the one for you but other than that it's it's good but it's just the other pucks are just a little bit better than it and it's also fifteen dollars so kind of recommend it but only if you don't really have any pucks and you and you need one for like a roller hockey type surface. Last is the hockey shot dangle puck, and this one's very good. I, I highly recommend it, but only if you have like roller hockey type surface or a or tiles, something smooth like that. It slides so well, but it's just like it's very expensive, and you can only stick handle with it. So it's really good if you're going to practice stick handling. But if you're if you're not and you, or you don't have a smooth surface then don't worry about getting this puck. And so, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this, and hopefully you learned something. Uh, I should put the links to all the pucks from Pure Hockey in the description below, but hopefully you guys learned something, and uh, I hope somehow I made your decision making for getting a puck better. And if you did enjoy, please do subscribe. That's all I have. Bye.